Yo guys and welcome back to the first video of 2023. We're here and I thought, you know, a lot of you guys are here for the Austin FC content. So I thought today would be a great time to look back at this is the first the first video of 2023. Let's take a look at what the MLS thinks Austin FC's top five goals of 2022 are. And if they miss some, if they if they got them right, let me know down below what you guys think that this video has missed. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen it. So let's see. I hope uh, Danny Prayer's goals in here, the the one that we used on stream for the longest time, the volley, and then one of GTA's hat trick goals has to be on here. Preferably the long run that he made uh, with Ruben, who's now gone. Um, that goal I think should be on here just for the run of play. It's important. This is not of last season. This is of the 2022 calendar year, which. Most likely is just last. It is just last season. I don't know what I'm talking about. Last season's goals. Let's take a look. Starting off here in San Jose. Tanner Beeson. Forcing the connection with Cascante. Cascante for Portland Timber. A great ball. And there's a drive. And yeah. Yeah, I don't think we can argue with that one. <laughs> That's a rocket of a shot for Maxi. I'm glad he's back. Let me know also with that. Who do you think is going to be the starting number nine? Is it GTA? Is it Maxi? Is it Zardis? Who's going to be the starting number nine for Austin FC in this coming year? I don't know. I think it's 50 days from when I'm recording this from the start of the season. I believe. I think it's 50 days. I mean, that's just taking advantage of a goalkeeper off the line. Moving on to Charlotte. To the races on the right. of bodies at the far post. Is this the opening? That's a great dummy. From ring. Lima. Here's Pereira. Oh, I mean, it wasn't the Danny Pereira goal that I thought it was going to be before the before the video, but um, if you see a ball that rockets off the underside of the post like that, even even Charlotte fans, you got to just admit that's a good goal. I mean. That's a great dummy from Ring. Unfortunately, there was nobody there. Who's that call? Is that Seba calling it from up top? And he just watches Danny rip one. Can't be upset with it. Let's see. Yeah, I believe that is Seba. I think that is Drewski up there. Double taps the underside of the bar. Boom. Actually enjoyable to watch. Thanks. That does, that does, I believe that crosses the line on the first bounce. Red Bull trailing 4-1. This is, we found ourselves in this position way too often. Down by a couple of goals. Less than, less than 30 minutes to go in the game. And we somehow were able to come back. I mean, that's a great couple of, just beat a couple of defenders, midfielders, whatever you want to call them. And... And just rocket one. I believe that was his second of the game. Makes makes him go and then just they left so much open space right there. I had no idea what they're thinking about leaving Drewsu open that much right there. I'm trying to be able to go to more home games this year. I think right now I'm gonna be going to five games from what I've planned. I believe it's five games that, we're, that I'm going to. I mean, that, that might have been Danny's best goal. The, the one game that Washington Carrozo plays as well. The one game Washington Carrozo played as well. I mean, he played two, but whatever. I mean, that, that's a nice finish. That's hard to hit that over, coming over your shoulder. Yeah, I mean, the timing, that has to be perfect. Or else you're going to shank that somehow. Boom. I thought I think I remember watching that goal and I thought that went wide the first time. I thought it, as soon as like right there, I was like, it's going wide. It's the inside of the post. Here we go. Oh, the free kick. The free kick from this man. You see him lining up over my headset's still screwed up, by the way. Um, you see him lining up over a free kick from that distance, you know for a fact it's going back in the net. 
Josh Wolf has got a lot of juice. They thought he was going under. No shot he was going under. I feel like nobody goes under the wall anymore. I feel like once teams started putting people... Oh, that was the end. Eh. Oh, maybe not. Is that the last goal? I believe they're just going to show replays of this so many times. It does look like that they're just going to replay this one. Fair enough. That might be in... Let me know. Do you guys think that that video was in order from number five to number one? Or do you think that it was just... These are the top five goals in no order. What goals would you guys have liked to see down below in the comments? Also, let me know. Who do you think is going to score the best goal of 2023 for Austin FC? Is it going to be Driussi? Is it going to be another Fagundes free kick? Is it going to be a monster header from a new signing Leo? Who's it going to be? What's it going to be? Who's it going to be against? Let me know down below. But that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you have, go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We will be streaming more games, all the games, any of the games, Wednesdays and Saturdays, because now the MLS is on Apple TV. But Go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because I'll catch you guys once the season comes into full swing. There will be some videos um, until then, in the next 50 days, but that's really when we're going to kick off 2023. But take care, and I'll see you guys next time.